Lips rubbed off as I was eating. Eat it! What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video is for nosy people, uh, aka like me, because I enjoy these types of videos. And if you're watching this, you probably enjoy them as well. Always get interrupted in this household, I swear. Anyways, yes, today's video is going to be none other than what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So if you're nosy as me and you wanna get the video and watch this then keep on watching but first if you love a channel full of different and spontaneous content then follow me along my journey and click that subscribe button down below maybe give it a thumbs up while you're at it and click that bell yeah that ding 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 follow me on my social medias it is at maria's lifestyle for both tiktok and instagram and yeah without further ado let's get into the video so like I said, I do have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the big guy with the three cameras that everybody was going to hate, that everybody thought it looked ugly, that everybody thought it looked like pans on a stove. And let me tell you something, these pans on the stove don't play because I am so impressed with this camera quality. I had the last, I had the last model, which is the 10S Max, yeah that big guy and i thought going from my iphone 7 jumping up to that one that it was gonna be so bomb and everything and the quality literally sucked booty hole compared to this one so uh apple you did a amazing on the camera quality i did get the 256 gigabyte option so if you are uh wondering i did have to jump up to the 256 because of my youtube stuff my pictures loading to instagram tiktok i've had my phone since it launched i am that type of person to usually get a new phone when it launches <sighs> because as much as i am a makeup freak i am a technology freak person too you can make fun of me for being that type of person because i definitely am thousand dollars wasted every year Mm, yeah and i did get the silver option uh i had the gold one last let's get onto my lock screen and home screen usually i don't know why it gives me anxiety when they are matching so i have the same wallpaper and lock screen like home screen and lock screen so if you're like that please let me know because that maybe i'm the weirdo and i'm the only one that does that there's probably more people that are like that i'm gonna go ahead and roll onto the screen recording so i will put it right up here as you can see i do lay out my apps kind of a uh, weird or funky way i not the type of person to like seeing everything cluttered like um everything like all the apps going from up to down i hate that if you're like that we're not friends get out of my lane okay mm -mm, i don't like that i never was a person like that anyways as you can see all i have three pages and all of them are exactly like that you organize them by how i use them and how often i use them um hey there taylor love you um, you're awesome, but the first app that I do have is Instagram Instagram is at Maria's lifestyle. I'm very very active on that. I do go on Instagram a lot So the AK that's why it's my first um, on there. Second app is just snapchat. Third app is my TikTok <laughs> Maria's lifestyle promo just posted a video. I'm gonna close these as I go because that also gives me anxiety having my too many apps open i'm not like that next one is for twitter it's at maria's lifestyle with one e you go there for the trending news and all that stuff next up is my clue app uh, aka uh like my period tracker and all that good stuff us women know what that is next one is kind of like my to-do list like an app that um i can set aside to kind of like have like my, like my planner instead of my reminders on my reminder apps i put more important stuff this thing is literally my notes as you can see this is what i used on my last video my youtube description next is safari we all know what that does and then we get into my little folders and my photography photo app i do have uh, my normal camera roll and then photo i have visco um and then i have facetune i have facetune 2 as well i use both of them um but i'm now getting into facetune 2 more i do have fonto photo grid pixar and reports plus which tells me who unfollows me on instagram because uh shitty as hoes i ain't following you back hell no nah, if you unfollowed me i'm unfollowing you okay sweetie mm. next is like my bank stuff um cash app bank stuff all that stuff and it is my entertainment section aka my youtube my disney plus 
Plus, my beloved Disney Plus. I am a Disney fanatic. Hulu, Netflix, FaceTime, my YouTube studio. This Genie app or whatever is for my diffuser there. It's like a smart diffuser. Um, this thing is like the best thing. Next is my mail. So my Gmail and my normal mail. And then I get my T-Mobile app because I do go off T-Mobile. And I have my settings and my maps because ain't uh, nobody trying to get lost while they're driving. And then I have my shopping. So like Sephora, Ulta, Makeup Junkie, hello. Um, Amazon, Etsy, I don't really go on Etsy a lot. And then AliExpress, I did start getting into AliExpress a lot. I have my calendars and Mario Kart, which just sits there and I never play, um, but it just sits there. I have my like watch stuff, so like activity, which is um, if you have the Apple Watch, you guys know that you put it on and it tells you your rings, what you've closed. I've been sick for a while, so I have not been very active, but I do usually use my Apple Watch on a daily basis. Then my watch app, again, to navigate my Apple Watch. I do work at Wally World, aka Walmart. So this is my Walmart folder. Has my uh, apps, schedules, the actual app, in case customers need help. Facebook, I don't go on Facebook as much as other people do. And then I get my extras, like the weird apps that you can't really, um, you know, delete or something. I just put them all in a random folder and then like contacts and all that stuff, the weather app. I usually put them all on here because as you know, you can scroll down and you can access it easier. Um, if you scroll so I don't really need the apps then I have tumblr again I haven't been on tumblr at all within the recent years I used to post on there a lot actually and then I have Pinterest um, I get some of my ideas there save a lot of my just girl things makeup um, wallpapers nails all that jazz and I have my messenger and then I have uh, that tag row like making appointments so like if you're gonna go get your nails done then I have the health app I have the smart things because I do have a Samsung smart TV I have my sound clouds and if y'all remember this is the uh, illegal version of flappy bird y'all remember that time because I that era was definitely lit I have it on here just for the heck of it when I'm bored when I'm sitting in the bathroom at work <laughs> Anybody. Um, and then I do have Bose headphones. I do own them. I love my Bose headphones. I do have the app for that. I have the SpongeBob game, which I saw on a Disney channel at my boyfriend's house, and then I got hooked on it. It's basically that cooking game that blew up. It's basically like that, but SpongeBob. And then I have my Chipotle app. And at the bottom, um, I keep it as my messages, my Spotify. I love me my Spotify. I am a Spotify user more than Apple Music, but when I did before Spotify, I did buy like a bunch of albums as you can see. But now I am definitely more into the Spotify. I get Hulu with it and I get Spotify for only like 12 bucks. And my calling app. And that's about it. I don't really have a ton of apps. If you guys enjoy some of the apps that you have on your phone and you want to share, comment them down below. And maybe I'll download some because I do sometimes get bored on my phone and I'm like, what else can I do? Because I'm tired of checking and updating and updating and updating and refreshing my Instagram and all that stuff. So if you guys have any games that you like playing or like any apps or whatever or something like that, definitely comment them down below. I'm definitely more on the weirder side of things because like I said, I'm I'm not OCD. I wouldn't say I'm OCD about my phone, but I like th seeing things a little bit clean and organized. Definitely not as clean or aesthetic as other people have it. It's definitely my own style in my way. My way. If you buy yourself your own phone, you know the struggles of how much it does cost. Um, but if your parents buy the phones for you, wear your case, bruh. Wear a case and a screen protector because a thousand dollars, that sucks if you crack it. So I'm a Stitch fan. Again, Disney fanatic. I do have my stitch case. I'm a case junkie. Um, and then I do have my screen protector as well. Keep your phone safe and protected, y'all. This brings us to the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous night or day wherever you guys are located. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Peace, 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 peace.